So Roblox has just released an update where you can rotate the skybox and yeah that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> basically the sky instance has a new property which is the skybox orientation that I'm basically just going to overview in this video. So as usual leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's just get to it. And here we are in Roblox Studio where to firstly actually enable this feature you will need to go into file then where is it I'm not used to the new UI. Oh right here you have to go into the beta features then enable the skybox orientation from right here press on save and then it's going to prompt you to restart studio so you just want to do that and then if you actually go to the lightning then the skybox that we have right here it's actually going to have a new property called the skybox orientation with the x y and z values now if you don't actually have a skybox under the lightning where if i were to for example just delete this one you can simply just add a sky instance and then you're going to have the sky orientation property right here but anyway now if i wanted to i can simply just rotate the skybox on for example let's say 45 degrees on the x-axis and you can see that it's actually going to be rotated and it's going to look really weird <laughs> but anyway you also have the y-axis that i can change to 90 and it's basically just going to flip the skybox and then the z that i can change to for example 180 which is going to flip it even more so if i actually just make the base plate well transparent this is going to be our new skybox and that's the basics but there is actually some interesting stuff to point out with the behavior of the skybox since i already know that some people might actually be asking this in the comments where i'm going to actually take this here for example and if you're a fan of my channel you already know about the reflectance property that if you increase it's going to be reflecting the skybox and this actually works with the skybox orientation as well as you can probably see from this example if i were to rotate it on the x-axis again you can see that it's also going to rotate the reflection so yeah this is the before and this is the after and another thing to point out is that the sun as well as the stars and the moon aren't going to rotate with the skybox you can see that it's basically just going to stay in place but let me actually just reset everything and just show you a little fun script that i'm going to be adding into the starter player scripts and I'm just going to name this local script a rotate skybox and move it right here. So yeah, first I'm just going to get the lightning service, which is game get service and the lightning, then the run service, which is game get service and run service, and then I'm going to get a rotation speed variable that I'm going to be leaving on 10 for now. And I also need to make a reference to the skybox. And since this is going to be a local script, I'm going to use a lightning then wait for child and then the sunless blue sky. Then I'm going to use the run service, then the heartbeat event and connect a function and this function is going to get the delta time which is a number and it's not going to be returning anything and as you can see i'm going to basically just rotate what did i just press can i just remove this i don't want to use the assistant <laughs> but yeah you can guess that i'm going to be rotating this guy every frame but how do i do that exactly well and it's as simple as referring to the property of the skybox orientation and you cannot change the x y and z values individually you basically just have to assign the skybox that skybox orientation and set it to a vector feed that new now first i'm just going to get a new value which is going to be the delta time then times the rotation speed and then from here let's just say that i'm going to rotate the y value only so i'm going to do zero then copy the skybox orientation that y and then zero and then to this y value i'm also going to add the new value that we created from right here and if i were to actually do a playtest right now you can see that this guy is going to be rotating and i'm actually not moving my camera since well you can see that my character is staying in place and if i were to move to this previous example with the sphere you can see how the reflection is going to be changing dynamically too so yeah that's pretty neat but also if you wanted the skybox to for example be tilted you can change any of these values to be for example something like anywhere from like 0 to 90 and now this is going to be even more trippy And speaking of funny effects, I found that if you actually change all of the axes, meaning that the X, then the Y, and then the Z, where I'm actually going to make it a little bit easier to read, like this, and increase the speed to something crazy like 100, you are basically going to have something like this. And I'm probably just going to be giving a motion sickness warning before this part of the video, so you can probably guess why. But yeah, you can also see that the reflection on this part is also going a little bit crazy too, and trust me, I'm not moving my camera at all right now. And here is going to be my character in a spinning sky. <laughs> so yeah, you can basically just do a lot of pretty interesting effects. What I've shown was basically on only the skybox, right? But if I go to my plugins, and then the Atmos skyboxes, and just change the skybox to something like, for example, this 
Deep Space Cluster, copy the name, then remove the previous skybox, go back to the script, and then do this. I'm basically just going to have this. So yeah, this update is pretty nice. And as you hear the same effect but on a different space skybox. But yeah, this update is really interesting and there's going to be everything for the basic showcase, but I'm actually just going to go into the dev forum and give you a little bit more information as well as present some limitations that this update has. So yeah. And here is the dev forum post about the studio beta Beyond Static Skies. Rotate your world with skybox orientation. Where a Roblox staff is saying that high creators, get ready to add a subtle yet more impactful new dimension to your experience. We are happy to announce the release of Skybox Orientation as a studio beta, allowing you to easily manipulate and rotate the texture of your Skybox at virtually no rendering cost, meaning low performance and zero memory cost. So basically no data about the Skybox Orientation is going to be stored in the memory, since it's just a one engine property. And here is a little GIF preview of the person basically just rotating the sky. So yeah. Then there is the Rotate Your World paragraph, saying that this feature gives you precise control over the orientation of your environment map, opening up many creative possibilities. And uh, sorry, excuse my voice, but I have recently just recovered from a virus infection and it's kind of hard to speak, but anyway, I still need to finish overviewing this post, so yeah. When enabled, you will find a new property, the skybox orientation, located under the sky instance within the lightning service. And of course, you already know that it's a vector free, containing of x, y and z coordinates, which determine the rotation angle, and it's measured in degrees. And by default, all the values are basically just set to zero, ensuring existing experiences remain visually unchanged and incur no additional rendering cost. So you basically just don't have to worry about this feature, for example, breaking your skybox in the game, whenever it's going to come out of the beta. And here they are saying that once you change the values, they are going to go from the Y, then X, and then to the Z axis. And this behavior is consistent with how most other Roblox orientation properties function, making it intuitive to use. Then you have a showcase of the new properties with the default values, and tilting the sky to 45 degrees on the x-axis. And a little note saying that the moon and the stars didn't change since they are not a part of the skybox. And I'm guessing that it's going to be the same with the cloud instances as well. And here they are saying that the ability to rotate your skyboxes enables a diverse range of the effects and visual storytelling, with for example dynamic sunsets, cosmic journeys, and unique perspectives, as you have probably already seen in my the Roblox Studio portion of the video, so yeah. I hear about the scripting the skybox orientation, saying that you can actually animate it with Loa scripting, and it's also replicated, meaning that all the players will see the skybox rotation. So I shown how to do this on a local script, right? And this portion of the dev forum basically means that you can also change it within the server script as well, and it's going to be automatically replicated to all of the clients. And here they have an example with a script so I have something similar to what I already went over, basically rotating this skybox on the Y axis and keeping the X one on the 45 degree value. And here it's saying that it's rotating around the Y first, then applying the X and then the Z for the last. And then they part about understanding the rotation order, saying that when you apply rotation around more than one axis, the order in which they are applied matters. For the skybox orientation, it again goes from the Y then X then the Z, meaning if you want your sky to spin and be tilted, you can animate the Y axis for the spin and set the X and Z values for the tilt. Where the script above, for example, animates the Y axis for spinning while keeping the constant 45 degree on the X axis. And this gives you a predictable control over the complex movements. And here is another video preview that I kind of have to zoom in because you basically just have the constantly increasing Y value while the X is being kept at the 45 degree angle. Then imagine animating a space nebula skybox to create the convicting illusion of a space station spinning on its axis. Okay, yeah, they're actually giving a pretty interesting example right here. Or you orient, speed up or slow down your spinning sky based on in-game events. And they are saying that the possibilities are endless. Yeah, I mean, someone is going to probably just make like a JoJo reference somewhere. Anyway, moving to the important consideration and limitations paragraph, saying that they designed this feature to work seamlessly across all platforms with different quality levels. And then they give you a few visual limitations, where they basically just rotate the skybox and then the counter rotate reflection vectors, saying that it's a technique that creates the intended illusion without the need to constantly rebake reflection probes. And the trade-off is that certain effects will not affect the rotated sky. Like for example the indoor reflections, where for example if there is an open window and the sky is visible through it, that specific reflection view of the sky will not be rotated, saying that achieving this would require expensive re-rendering and 
and Convolving of Cube Maps, which would basically just impact the performance. Then there are the Sun, Moon and Stars, saying that only the skybox actually rotates. Where to rotate the Sun and the Moon you can basically just do that with a lot of math I think, but the stars wouldn't really be possible, since they are basically static. And then the clouds, where they are confirming on what I said previously, meaning that it's not impacted by the skybox orientation. But yeah, there is also an interaction with the viewport frames, saying that if you utilize a skybox within a viewport frame, it will reflect the global skybox orientation values. You cannot override the orientation on a per viewport basis, this aligns with the existing pattern, where you can change the skybox texture within a viewport frame, but other global settings are inherited. And lastly, the next steps and the feedback, where they are basically just asking for feedback and saying that this feature is not fully complete and it can be a subject to change. And that's basically everything for the dev forum post. So yeah, that's also going to be everything for this video. So as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Also check out my Patreon page. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you had a nice day and see you guys.